Hi everybody, welcome. Today we are going to take a look at um, Securely Classroom. And the first thing I wanna do is I wanna give you an overview so you can get an idea of some of the things that you're able to do and how it can support student learning in your classroom. So today we're gonna to take a look at guiding student learning, focusing on student learning, monitoring student learning, and then communicating with your students. We're also going to take a look at the reports that you have and the data that you have available to you when you use Securely Classroom. So this is going to be our home base. So let's take a look and let's dig into guiding student learning. So in order to guide student learning, you have the ability to push URLs, create site collections, and also lock the screens of your students' computers, um, their Chromebooks. So let's take a look at pushing URL. So if you wanted to push a URL to a student, you can quickly send out a link to them instead of having them type the whole thing in. This quickly gets them on task and started with whatever you, you have planned for the day. You can also do the same thing with a collection of websites, and we'll get into that with site collections. So if you were doing a research project and you had a specific set of websites that you wanted your students to be able to access, but you didn't want them to go out all over the wide uh, open internet, you would be able to create a site collection and then you can launch that collection for all the devices with just one click. And then finally, you have the ability to focus student learning by using the screen lock. So if you need to put a message up on everybody's screen, stop what they're doing, eyes on me, everybody come back together, let's talk about this question, you have that ability to do that and you can release with one click, you can do this for individual students or you can do this for the entire class. So now let's take a look at how we can focus in on student learning. So we're guiding them. Now let's take a look at how we can focus their learning. We have the feature site lock, we have tab control, and a custom block link is going to help you focus your student learning. So um, the site lock is similar to the screen lock except this time you're locking the students into a specific website. This can also be a collection because we talked about creating collections in the last section. So you can lock students into a, a separate uh, collection of websites and keep them there. This can be used for students individually, the whole class. You can use this um, for specific groups of students as well. Tab control is a great view. This lets you see all the tabs that are open on a student device and select any that you may feel are not allowing the student to focus on their learning and you can close them. You can also create a custom block link. So if there is a website that you would like blocked that is not currently blocked by our district uh, filter, you can create that block link yourself. So now let's take a look at how can we monitor student learning by leveraging Schoology Classroom. So we can monitor by having the screen view, the tab view, as well as the student's browsing history. So screen view lets you see a thumbnail view of all the screens of everyone in your class. There is a little bit of a delay. It's not instantaneous. It's a couple seconds behind, but you can see what the students are looking at on their screen. Now that will be their top view. Um, you can zoom in on any screen, you can see the open tabs, and you can present from a student's screen on your device. So think of how helpful that will be in class, either on Zoom or face-to-face. -face. If you wanted to showcase somebody's work, you can present their screen so that everybody can see it. Tab view we talked about is a different view, but that is the one that lets you see all of the tabs that are open. You can open, you can close um, tabs that they have open, but no, those two views are going to help you as you're monitoring students' work. So you can look at the screen view, and then you can switch to the tab view. And it's this little click right here, and we'll go through that in the module. Um, the other thing that you have is you have the browsing history. So this is really quick easy access to all the history that happened during your class period. So you can check it on any of your students at any time. If you need um, access to um, the history of all students outside of your classroom, that would come from your administrator. Um, 
so you have the ability to see your students that are in your class period you won't be able to see what they're doing in other class periods um, and then finally let's take a look at how we can communicate with students using securely classroom so students have the ability to raise hand you can make announcements or you can use a two-way chat so the raise hand feature is similar to what happens in zoom when it's enabled you, the student can quickly get the teacher's attention without drawing a lot of attention to themselves. It's really good for those shy students and a special alert will appear on the, uh, the teacher's screen. An announcement is a pop-up message that you can send out to your entire class, you can send it to individual students, but the key is that students must acknowledge that they've seen it before Securely Classroom will let them go and click on anything else. Um, and it's just a little pop-up. It looks like this one right here on the screen. There's also a two-way chat feature. Private chat between you and a student. Um, you can enable this so students can reach out for help. Uh, students are not able to communicate with each other, only with the teacher. Uh, but this is a great way if you need to talk to somebody privately and you don't want to um, call them out in front of the whole class excellent way to communicate as well and it's also great that the students cannot communicate with each other so let's take a look at some of the reports that you have access to so in the report area you're going to be able to see the session details which includes how long the session was what websites were um, gone the students had gone to how long they were there you're able to see any of the students who were there um, I'm going to mention this right now, but I also want to bring this up later in our module as well. It is essential that you are starting and stopping your class because you can only have the students in your class if they're not in, active in another class. Um, so you will have the ability to turn it on and kick them out of another class. But this is going to be important for especially uh, students that maybe go to an ELL teacher, an RTI teacher, where they're getting pulled out of maybe the homeroom session and working with a small group. So if the RTI teacher, the the uh, special ed teacher wants to use them. If you're a homeroom teacher, please make sure that you're cognizant of who is in your class. Um, but it is also great if you start it with the entire class, you can see if students are hanging out on YouTube watching videos instead of being at your class, um, as long as they're not in another teacher's class. But this session, uh, students tells you who was present and um, I blurred out the names. You can see any announcements that you um, posted during this class. You also have a chat history, and then it will give you the actual chat um, as well. And so it gives you the ability to really dive in deep. And um, it's awesome because you get emailed a copy of this report at the end of your period. So now that you have kind of like an overview of what you can do with Securely Classroom, let's dig in and let's take a look at how do you actually do these features in your Securely Classroom. Thanks for watching.